Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, these platforms have now evolved into way more than just a way to spend time online. They truly have changed the landscape of how businesses market themselves. Now the pressure is on for small businesses to make short, entertaining videos. Now I did speak to one creator who has embraced the style of social media and has some pointers for all of us to stay relevant online. I'm way more uh, used to being on that side over there, for sure. Right. For this story, Travis Hatch and I decided to do a little something different. Uh, you want to yeah. explain what's happening? Yeah, a little meta. So you guys have your cameras going. I've got my cameras going. I'm going to be filming this as well so I can chop up little pieces uh, to use on my social media, maybe even when I'm talking right now. And I can put that out on my social media. <laughs> As a business owner, Travis has learned quickly that to stay on the forefront of his customers' minds, he has to be on the lookout for opportunities to produce content. We've basically become the greatest television show to ever exist. Everybody has the opportunity to kind of develop their own little niche, their own little TV show, if you will, that uh, people can tune into and develop their own following. And if you do it correctly, those people could be clients. The potential that can be gained from those who tune in to that TV show, well, it's hard to put a price on. Just check out these numbers. According to data from a brand new study by analytics firm data.ai, in 2022, consumers worldwide spent 4.1 trillion hours online. That boils down to about five hours per person per day. 642 billion of those hours were spent solely on content from short form videos. And nearly all growth in both consumer spending and hours spent on video apps has skyrocketed. I think that that's kind of a little tough for some business owners to come to terms with, that they kind of need to take part in that. Maybe they don't like it, they don't understand it. I'll give you a, a piece of insider information, neither did I. At first, it wasn't really my thing. Once Travis went viral for the first time and saw the engagement, he realized he needed a shift to tap into short form videos. Now he coaches his video clients on best marketing strategies too. Let's say you're a super established real estate agent in a high net worth area, say Aspen, Colorado, for instance, and you've been in the game for like 10, 20 years. You don't necessarily need to be on social media. However, you do have to come to terms with the fact that like a young up and coming person who is crushing it on social media might start eating food off of your plate. If you're a business that wants to tap into the short form video market but have no idea where to start, here's a few pointers from Travis. Find your niche and stick to it. Are you funny? Is there something you could teach someone? Be authentic and consistent. Think quantity over quality. A cell phone camera is fine. You don't need a fancy setup, but the more videos you put out, the more you're seen and be okay with not being great at first. You don't have to put together some sort of amazing Martin Scorsese film that's your social media. There's the only one path is to do things, see what works, make adjustments, double down on the things that are working. There is no way to figure this out without action. And the best way to create action is just volume. Being a business owner plus a digital presence can seem daunting, but getting over analysis paralysis and taking advantage of the vast amount of potential clients can make all the difference in our increasingly digital world. Not participating is, is gonna hold you back, especially if you're starting out. I don't know if anybody's ever ready for anything but just putting one foot in, step in front of the other, like just get started and start putting stuff out there. Vanessa Mishania, Scripps News, Aurora, Colorado.